So far we have learned so many things about digital logic circuits. We have learned how we can represent binary numbers to conversions from binary to decimal, decimal to binary, hexadecimal to binary, hexadecimal to decimal. Also we have seen how we can use axioms and theorems to simplify Boolean equations. We can use sum of product, product of sum to come up with the Boolean equations from truth tables. We have seen how we can use Carnot map to simplify Boolean equations even further. We have seen how we can use multiplexers and decoders to implement different combinational functions. We got introduced to uh, state elements and how we can use the state elements in addition to combinational logic circuits to design sequential logic circuits and also we have seen uh, how we can simulate these type of circuits in software env environment using HDL languages. So now it's a good time to start thinking about putting everything together to build circuits that are able to accomplish much more. So the digital building block that we went over they started with gates and then multiplexers, decoders, registers, uh, arithmetic circuits, counters, memory arrays, and logic arrays. So as you can see, if uh, from the beginning to the end, the complexity is increasing. So being able to design building blocks uh, helps us demonstrate the three important whys that I discussed in the first few lectures hierarchy, modularity, and regularity. The hierarchy of simpler components, well-defined interfaces and functions, and regular structure that can be easily extended to different sizes. So when we design these building blocks and when we use them, uh, we get more prepared to uh, start building and thinking about building microprocessors. So over the next few videos, I'm going to focus on what we have learned from before and expand the ideas to start creating more advanced and complex building blocks.